Today, I'm going to show you Google's biggest search upgrade ever. They just dropped Gemini 2.5 Pro and Deep Search right into search. Plus, they added something wild AI that calls businesses for you. This is not just search anymore. This is like having a super smart assistant that does research and makes calls. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Google just broke the internet and most people don't even know it happened. Three days ago, Google rolled out the biggest search upgrade in history. We're talking about Gemini 2.5 Pro, Deep Search, and something called Agentic AI, all built right into Google Search. This isn't just a small update. This changes everything about how we find information and get things done online. But here's the crazy part. It's only available to Google AI Pro and AI Ultra subscribers in the US right now. So most people can't even try it yet. That's why I'm making this video. Because when this rolls out to everyone, you need to know how to use it before your competitors do. Let me show you what just changed. First, they added Gemini 2.5 Pro directly into AI mode. This is Google's smartest AI model. It's the same one that beats GPT-4 on most benchmarks. And now it's right inside Google search. Before this update, Google search was just search. You type something, got some links, clicked around. Now it's like having a genius research assistant that can think through complex problems, write code, solve math, and reason through multiple steps. But that's not even the biggest change. The second thing they added is called deep search. And this is where things get insane. Deep search doesn't just find you one answer. It runs hundreds of searches in the background. It reads through dozens of websites. Then it creates a full research report with citations. Think about this. You ask one question. Google goes and does hours of research for you, then hands you a complete report. I tested this yesterday. I asked it to research the best marketing strategies for local businesses in 2025. It spent about three minutes running hundreds of searches. It looked at marketing blogs, case studies, recent trends, local business examples. Then it gave me a 2000 word report with 15 sources. That would have taken me three hours to research myself. But wait, there's more. The third update is the most mind blowing. They added agentic AI to search. What does that mean? It means Google can now call businesses for you. Let me say that again. Google will pick up the phone and call local businesses to get pricing and availability information for you. You search for pet groomers near me and there's a new button that says have AI check pricing. You click it, Google calls five different pet groomers, gets their prices, availability and services, then shows you a comparison. You never had to talk to anyone. This is not search anymore. This is automation. And here's what most people don't understand. This is just the beginning. Google is testing this with pet groomers, dry cleaners and local services but they're already planning to expand this to restaurants, appointments, ticket booking, and more. Soon, you'll be able to say, book me a table for four at a good Italian restaurant tonight, and Google will call restaurants, check availability, and book it for you. Now, let me show you exactly how to use these new features, because the interface is completely different from regular Google search. First, you need Google AI Pro or AI Ultra. These are paid subscriptions, Pro is $20 a month, Ultra is $30 a month. Once you have that, you need to enable AI mode in Google Labs. Go to labs.google.com, find the AI mode experiment and turn it on. Now, when you go to Google search, you'll see a new tab called AI mode. That's where all the magic happens. In AI mode, you have two options. There's the default model for fast answers and this Gemini 2.5 Pro for complex reasoning. Here's when to use each one. Use the default model when you want quick answers, like what's the weather today? or how do I cook pasta? Use Gemini 2.5 Pro when you have complex questions that need deep thinking, math problems, coding questions, analysis, research, and use deep search when you need a full research report on something. Let me give you five real examples you can try right now. Example one, business research prompt, research the top five digital marketing trends for small businesses in 2025, including ROI data and implementation difficulty. This will trigger deep search. It'll research marketing blogs, case studies, and industry reports. You'll get a comprehensive analysis with data on what's working, what's not, and how hard each strategy is to implement. Example two, investment analysis prompt. Compare investing in real estate versus stock market for someone with $50,000 to invest, considering current market conditions, tax implications, and risk factors. Deep search will analyze current real estate markets, stock performance, tax laws, and economic trends. 
you'll get a detailed comparison report with pros and cons of each option. Example three, technical problem solving switch to Gemini 2.5 Pro and ask, debug this Python code and optimize it for better performance, paste your code. The 2.5 Pro model excels at coding. It will find bugs, suggest optimizations, and explain why the changes improve performance. Example four, local business intelligence prompt. Find the best coffee shops in downtown Seattle with Wi-Fi, quiet atmosphere, and good pricing. Have AI check pricing and availability. This uses the new agentic features. Google will actually call coffee shops to get current pricing and availability information. Example five, market research prompt. Analyze the competitive landscape for AI writing tools, including pricing, features, user reviews, and market positioning. Deep Search will research dozens of AI writing tools, compare features, analyze reviews, and create a competitive analysis report. Now here's what's really important. The way you write prompts for these new features is different from regular Google searches. Don't think in keywords anymore. Think in full questions and tasks. Instead of best restaurants Seattle, try Find three highly rated restaurants in Seattle with vegetarian options, outdoor seating, and availability this weekend. Instead of marketing tips, try create a comprehensive marketing plan for a local yoga studio with a $500 monthly budget. The more specific you are, the better results you get. But here's something most people miss. These new features are learning from every interaction. Every time you use deep search, it gets better at understanding what kind of research you need. Every time you use the agentic calling feature, it gets better at asking the right questions to businesses. This means the people who start using these features now will have better results than people who wait. And speaking of waiting, let me tell you what's coming next. Google announced they're working on Project Mariner integration. This will let AI mode help you complete complex tasks across multiple websites, like plan a three-day trip to New York, book flights, hotel and restaurant reservations, all under $800. The AI will search for flights, compare hotels, make reservations, and handle the entire planning process. They're also adding personal context. So Google will connect to your Gmail, calendar, and other apps to give personalized recommendations. Imagine asking, what should I focus on today? And Google analyzes your calendar, emails, and priorities to create a personalized action plan. This is happening fast. Google is rolling out new AI mode features every few weeks. But here's the problem. Most business owners and marketers have no idea this is happening. While they're still optimizing for traditional SEO, search is becoming completely AI powered. The businesses that adapt to these changes now will dominate. The ones that ignore them will get left behind. So what should you do? First, get familiar with these tools. Even if you don't have the paid subscription yet, understand how they work. Second, start thinking about how your customers might use these features to find your business. If you're a local business, make sure your Google business profile is optimized because that's what the agentic calling feature will use to get information about you. If you create content, start thinking about how AI mode and deep search might surface your content in research reports. Third, test these features for your own business research. Use deep search to analyze your competitors. Use Gemini 2.5 Pro to solve complex business problems. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and tell me what you think about these new Google features. Now, let me tell you about something that can help you leverage all this AI technology for your business. I've been working with AI tools for years to scale businesses, and I've put together a community called the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where over 1,000 business owners are sharing how they're using AI to get more customers, save time, and increase profits. We're constantly testing new AI tools like these Google features, sharing what works, what doesn't, and how to get the best results. If you want to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation, the AI Profit Boardroom is the best place to do it. But that's not all. If you have a local business or you're looking to improve your online visibility, I also offer free SEO strategy sessions. These are one-on-one -on -one calls where we analyze your current online presence and create a plan to get you more customers. The link is in the comments and description. And if you want to learn more about using AI for business, check out the AI Success Lab. This is where I share step-by-step -step processes and tutorials for using AI tools. We have over 100 different use cases, complete with prompts and strategies. You'll also get access to all the video notes from my content, plus training materials that show you exactly how to implement these tools. The AI Success Lab has 14,000 members, and they're all sharing what's working in AI right now. The link is in the comments and description. 
But here's what I want you to do right now. Try one of those five examples I gave you. Even if you don't have access to the new Google features yet, start thinking about how you would use them. And more importantly, start preparing your business for this AI powered future of search, because this is just the beginning. Google is completely changing how people find and interact with information online. The businesses that understand the shift and adapt to it will have a massive advantage. The ones that don't will struggle to stay relevant. So which one are you gonna be? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon because I'm gonna keep bringing you the latest AI updates as they happen. And trust me, there's a lot more coming.